Okay, guys. So check out during this hearing, Holly totally roast this nominee for telling all the lies that she told during this hearing. And as he calls her out, watch her response or lack thereof. You have to watch. This committee, let's start with, with the workers' dignity question because your truthfulness under oath is surely, I notice my friends across the way now are utterly uninterested utterly uninterested in any organization you've been a part of. They're suddenly utterly uninterested in things you wrote in the past. They're utterly uninterested in who you give, who you give money to. That wasn't the case just a few years ago, but be that as it may, surely they're interested in your truthfulness. I have now counted, just as I've sat here today, four separate answers by you, all of them conflicting as to what exactly was your relationship with workers' dignity. So let's just, let's just get this nailed down. First of all, did you disclose your relationship with workers' dignity to this committee? Don't look at the chairman, look at me. I'm not sure, I'm not sure that I included that. I, I don't remember, Senator. Oh, I, I think you do. The answer is no. You did not disclose it to this committee. Then you told Senator Grassley, I've never represented that group. Then you told Senator Lee, next, that you had indeed advised them and that you'd advise them as a member of a legal advisory board. You said 10 years ago, right? Then you told Senator Cruz that in fact you had advised, you told Senator Lee you'd advise them briefly. You told Senator Cruz actually you'd advise them for three years. Then you told Senator Durbin that it wasn't 10 years ago, it was 15 years ago. So what is it exactly? You didn't disclose your association with this radical group to the committee. You're currently listed now, your own bio lists you as a, as a legal advisor to the Workers' Dignity Group from 2013 to the present. To the present. The Tennessee Bar Association cited your work with this group for your nomination. So what, what is the story? When did you start working for Workers' Dignity? Senator... More than a decade ago, for two or three years, I served on a legal advisory committee or board. So you gave them legal advice. We were helping them set up as a non So you represented them. So you lied to Senator Grassley earlier when he explicitly asked you, did you do any legal work? And you said no. Senator In fact, you served on a legal advisory board. That's your testimony now. Correct? Senator, I served on this board. On a legal advisory board, correct? Correct. Okay, so you lied to Senator Grassley here under oath. What else have you lied about? Workers' Dignity has condemned Israel's ethnic cleansing of Palestine. They have said that Israel is engaged in ethnic cleansing. Do you agree with that? No, Senator. How, do I, how, how can I believe you? You just lied under oath a moment ago to Senator Grassley. You've lied to us up and down on this committee. I mean, this is a serious problem, Ms. Campbell. I have to say, I've never seen a witness, never, in five years in this committee, sit here and lie to us and change the story person to person. My, why, why are you doing it? What, what, what is it? Why, why are you afraid to tell the truth about workers' dignity? Why have you lied to this committee? Why didn't you disclose it? Why did you lie to Senator Grassley? Why have you changed your story every time you're asked? Senator, I have not lied to you today. I've tried to represent my participation with this group. What you've done is you've misrepresented your participation with this group. You apologize to Senator Cruz for any confusion. You've created the confusion deliberately, deliberately. Let's talk about something else that you've created confusion for. The biggest political donation that you have ever made is to Odessa Kelly, this radical candidate. I just loved it when Holly goes, don't look at the chairman, look at me. Did you see how she was like, she didn't know how to answer. She's totally caught in these lies. And she kept looking over at the chairman, like, is he giving her him, her signals or something? But he totally calls her out and says, don't look at the chairman, look at me. And her eyes like just shift over to him. Oh my God, she <laughs> she's totally caught telling multiple lies. And as Holly just kind of lists them all out and asks her, so which one is it? She tries to um, 
use the filibuster, not the filibuster, but the answer that all people at these hearings, all Democrats and liberals at these hearings, when they don't want to answer, they're like, I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh yeah, that's a fallback answer because you're caught and you don't want to be admitting that you lied. But Holly made her admit several times that she was off in her answers, that she was misrepresenting, that she was deliberately trying to confuse the 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 everyone there by how she was giving her answers. But I guess Holly was like taking notes, making note of everything. And the last question that he asked, I forgot what it was, but when he asked her, you know, was that so? And she goes and she tries to say how um, she denies everything that he listed. And he goes, oh, I am listing. I haven't listed anything. And he was just direct and answering the, asking her the question. So she, you could tell by her saying that she's like, probably in her chair saying, how the hell do I get out of this? Because you can catch her looking at, um, over at the guy again, right? Uh, for help. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was, number one, on one side, I thought it was hysterical, but number two, on the other side, you know, this is what happens. Everyone tries to get away with the lies and nothing, no accountability happens. Like, I like to know, like, what happened after this? Hopefully she didn't get nominated. I don't know if she did or not.